Okay, so I wanna show you um, some of the options that this comes with. There's four different border options. Um, so under layers, if you see borders, you can double click the like, little square. It's the smart object thumbnail. Double click, click, click. And then if you notice, it opens up a new Photoshop file. Okay, so um, there you go. So don't think that's weird or anything. And it defaulted to border one. This is what border one looks like. Um, you can turn that off and turn on, or maybe you want border two. See how it's like a different style. It's kind of more like what they call like a satin stitch instead of just like this running stitch. You can leave both on if you want both a running stitch and a satin stitch. That's kind of up to you. Um, I'll turn them both off. Again, there's four choices here. This just looks like another kind of satin stitch style. Um, and then like another kind of running stitch. So it's up to you which one you want or if you want like more than one, um, up to you. I'm like going crazy, just clicking all of them. Um, I don't know, maybe you want both of these, not this one. I don't know, you guys pick what you want. Anyways, when you're done, when you have the one that you do like, um, you actually close out of this, you hit X. And then you click save and it changed your original file. So here you go. Um, so again, we can still go in and we can change this guy to also have black thread as well. Again, you click on the levels to do that, give it a little double click and uh, just move the little level slider so you get the color you want. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's how you do it. Um, let me know if you guys have questions. I'm excited to see if anybody chooses to go this route and um, what your artwork turns out like.